founding emperor of Ming Dynasty Zhu Yuanzhang reformed the traditional Confucian imperial examination system. Potential state officials were selected from this system based on merit and their knowledge of literature and philosophy. The unprecedented fierce level of competition urged the literati to seek possibilities in other walks of life other than pursuing a career in the government. The four masters of Ming Dynasty are an example of these members of literati class. Shen Zhou never pursued a career in office. Wen Zhengming only briefly served at the imperial court. Tang Ying had to make a living by selling his paintings after an accusation of cheating in the imperial exam saw him removed from office. And Qiu Ying, he simply just chose painting as a profession. Qiu Ying's work figures stands out with this color palette. Unlike today, where anyone can choose to wear any color they like, clothing was specifically standardized by the ruling class during early Ming Dynasty to represent social rank using color. However, this regulation was given up on during mid and late Ming Dynasty and ordinary people began choosing colors and materials more freely and fashionably. This nearly 6.2 meter long painting captures a fun gathering with a remarkable view, great food and pleasant music. 裘英呢有一个非常好的人物画卷，那么明代中期的收藏大家肖元变在上面盖了二三十方收藏章，我们可以在这个长卷当中看到明代那种市井生活的特点，啊，景象非常丰富，它有很多的构图也是来自于前朝，来自于宋代，来自于更早时期的一些构图，但是中国画的一个特点。Another colorful piece, Ceremony in the Orchid Pavilion by Wen Zhengming, shows a grand scene of the Shangsi Festival on the third day of the third lunar month. People gathered along the riverside to play a poetry writing game. Although this ancient festival isn't celebrated today, it was an important occasion during Ming Dynasty for literati group to meet and gather. Uh, 他已经88岁高龄了 